All right, just checking my settings here. All right, Xbox controller is selected. We have liftoff. All right, let me just get that mouse off the screen. I don't know why there's a mouse on my totally legitimate N64. Uh, the drink of tonight is a pure leaf iced tea container that I filled with water. Good shit. Okay, so, time to continue the adventures of not the... Was this one us? Yeah, that was us. So, where to go from here? I'm trying to think of what we have done and have not done at this point. Uh, fire tunic. That would be a good place to start. Then we can start the fire temple. I would just go do it, but with four hearts, we're not going to be able to make it through half of the dungeon because you require a specific amount of health to survive to get enough time to survive the heat rooms. All right. Did I buy? There was there was another wellet upgrade, wasn't there? Did I buy that yet? Because I could do that pretty easily as a kid. Because you just get those free 60 rupees that hang out around uh, the outside there. Oh, I can also do uh, Bamchu shit. Yeah. So yeah, we got, we got plenty to do. I, I was wondering, like, oh Christ, it's been like three days. What do, what do I do? What could I possibly do? But we have options. Ooh, got some spooky music. Well, it depends. Are we gonna hear, like, ice music? Nope, not ice music. This is Fire Temple. Which means we're gonna be- and this is Ocarina of Time 1.0, so we're gonna be hearing that chanting. Which isn't going to help things. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to do this good- goodly. I don't think this is the right angle. But I'll try it. It was not. Alright, uh. Yeah, I hear you. Let's try this. Yep, that'll do it. Alright. Now, for my secret ultimate technique. So, get yourself faced up, press perfectly diagonally. That's not going to do it, I don't think. It's close. My diagonal was off. Ooh, I'm liking the looks of that. Also close. Uh, maybe that? Alright. You know what I say, third try is the guy, right? And boy howdy is that the guy. Yes, I will play again. 20 rupees. That's less than what I paid to play the damn game! Which, normally it's supposed to be 50 rupees, which leads me to believe that that is our randomized prize. And that's not going to cut it. Neither side, I don't think. I'm really bad at this one. No matter what I do, I cannot get this one. Come on! You know what? Fuck it. I'm out of here. You just lost yourself a customer. That being said, since we know that the other prize she offers is 20 rupees, there's not much point. Ooh, I could go break open pots, but it's not going to be worth it. I might as well just go wait for daytime and then get bridge money. 
The sweet, succulent bridge money. That's what we need. It's that other guy that had the... Oh, uh, yeah, this nighttime stuff. Ooh, I forgot we didn't come back for you, my little friend! Aww. Let's get ISG off of Malin. Booyah! Alright, now I can do this. Yeah. Isn't that just great on the ears? Oh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Oh my god, I can pick stuff up and still be ISG. I didn't know that. All right, you spooky ass notes. I don't need that. And Navi, I don't need you sounding like a pot still. Whatever, daytime's about to come and save us from this music. Wait a second. I know. You! It was you all along, Malin. That wasn't nighttime. That was you. Your singing has been replaced with the D -D King Dodongo fight theme for some reason. That is unpleasant. Alright, time to get some bridge money so that we can afford the wallet upgrade so that we can get more bridge money so we can be buying all of the things we desire. Unless I already bought the Wellet upgrade, in which case we can go straight to the Goron's Tunic. And then with the Goron's Tunic, we can do the Fire Temple, and that's a good place to start. That should give us plenty to do. No, don't climb up there, Link, you foolish child! Do you understand the forces you're playing with? Try to climb where you shouldn't be. I'm already playing a randomizer. This game is unstable as it can get. If you start messing with the natural order of things, there's no telling what can happen. It might fall through the floor. Alright, one more go and we will know for certain whether we already bought the wallet upgrade. Seriously, though, why play an entire game of bomb tube bowling? Aha. Uh -huh. Our question has been answered. When you could just grab bridge money. Truly the wiser decision. Now, I think it was the night shop that was selling it. Yeah, you're not selling anything I'm particularly interested in. Well, I mean, some keys, which... We will likely need, but that's not what I'm looking to buy right now. Yes, it was the night shop. Sad to say it. Now, what can we do in the meantime? Well, I guess if we're buying... Nah, it wouldn't be worth it to buy the Goron tunic right away. So we bought the boomerang. Was there anything else we needed to buy? That is a question. Not one I can remember the answer to at the moment. So maybe there's a couple hidden grottos. I know I did the hidden grottos as an adult because I could save on bombs. So I guess I'm just dicking around until nighttime. And then I have to wait until daytime. Again! But, you know, there's probably a way I could have planned this that I don't have to do this much waiting, but, you know, me with my plans. I'm an idiot. I'll just take a sip of my 
tap water here. <sighs> That's all right stuff. The thrilling action of a Zelda game and the exciting antics of a wooden bridge finally come together to create this moment. Let's see how well we can time this. I, that that might have act no I think I was just I think I was like a fourth of a second too early sad watch this guy not be selling the wallet watch the wallet be some somewhere else I probably could have watched my own yeah probably could have watched my own run and realized that that was not the case. Maybe if no, you can't even exit out that way. So that's not going to help me. Which means that the Wellet was either Kukiri Forest or Dodongo City, which I can get as an adult anyway, so... Fuck you, waiting for daytime. I'm gonna grow up. It always disappointed me as a child that the dog would never follow you into the temple at time. It's like, hold on to me, doggy. We will explore the world in the future together. Good boy. Also, Link, you got lucky. Normally, if somebody just stood in one spot for seven years, they'd be dead. And if they were magically preserved, they'd be very much suffering from atrophy. And your arms would not be able to pick up the sword, and likely not be able to stand. As some, like, I can lay in bed for 14 hours, including sleep. And I feel like I can barely move after that. You've been standing still for seven years. You goddamn trooper. Alright, game plan acquired. Next up. Goron City. I don't believe... Did I... I can't remember what I did and didn't do. It was two and a half hours, so it shouldn't be super difficult. Did I... Did I bomb... The big Goron in the city as a child? And did I do like the the loop-de-loop -loop thing? No, I need Saria Song to do the loop-de-loop -loop thing. I would not have done the loop-de-loop -loop thing, but I may have been able to do the bombs! I can't recall if I did or not. And what about the re-deads here? I must have done these. I wouldn't have had the hammer and walked through here and not done them. Yeah. Even I'm not that stupid. That was the wellet upgrade in one of the shops. So many questions. fun to mess with them. Get wrecked, Rock! Because I, I know I know if we finished it on this cavern. I know that. It was the one thing we did complete. Die, Rock! I'm gonna get you! I always thought these rocks were Gorons back in the day, because they have the same pattern their back does. 
And like, they don't look like any of the boulders in the game. So what was up with that? Why'd they decide them to make look make them look so Goron-esque? Is it the Goron texture and they were just saving on, like, memory? Like, ah, oh, fuck it, just render a ball of it. They can't tell the difference. Oh my god, they're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. You can't just start off the day with music like that. Ooh, well it. Oh, well it. No. No, you, you can't do that to me, game. How? How could you? How could you do me like that, game? How could you? I just I just wanted the wellet upgrade. And you and you spit in my mouth. I'm so hurt. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because it was spelled wellet, that probably wasn't a typo. It was probably a hint that that was a fake item. Which makes me feel kind of stupid now. But now, in the future, I know. Do not buy typoed items. Because they're just trying to steal your credit card info. Do you think I have a case to sue the shop owner there? Because he did, like, knowingly sell me a cursed item. I feel like I could sue. But enough about that. Let's get on to the fire temple. With the power of the hook shot, it should be easy. But we're gonna make sure that we're at full hearts before we enter there, because I think with five hearts you still only have, like, 42 seconds. Which, I mean, probably more than enough to actually get to the temple, but... Yeah, no need to risk anything. Alright, grab some supplies here on the way in. 20 rupees to make the hurt go away. Because I was cheated and lied to. I just wanted a wallet. Is that so much to ask? Alright, I'm pretty sure I got the item over there last time. So all that's left is the fire temple. Thankfully, the first room of the fire temple is not a sweatshop. So we will be able to survive in there. Ah, oh, so close! I've never been able to slam dunk my way in. And it has been something of a painful... A painful thing to, to deal with. Alright. That's been cleared out. I think there's a free item over here, so let's go get that first. And there's another free item outside the boss door. I think we have enough hearts to survive getting it. No, that is much later on. But I know there's one outside the boss door. Missing half a heart mm, is gonna hurt us, but I think we will, we'll, we'll, do it. we'll be alright. Because I'm fast as fuck, boy! Mundane fact about the dungeon. Oh. Oh. I can see now that the real wallet was the one we found along the way and not the ones that we bought. Truly. Truly a masterpiece of a game that teaches life lessons to those who are willing to open their heart and listen. Very beautiful. Now to share the love. That's my patented technique. It's just... 
Give him the old watermelon spin. But you hit them with the outside of the watermelon, because that's the part that's, like, gross to eat. Oh, this room is going to suck without a shield. Unless I just slightly sidestep it at all times, and it, then it's not difficult at all. Alright, never mind. And I still get hit. That's a bigger bomb bag. Oh my god. Man, the fire temple has been fired. Oh yeah, give me that. Oh! Man, good idea to come to this place. Let me just say that right off the bat. Oh shit, this guy's not fucking around. Kid, count yourself lucky I don't have ISG. Come on. Oh. 200 IQ move. Yeah. You are a fool. Outsmarted by a master tactician. That's right. Get over here. No. Using this on a C-stick is the worst thing ever. Gotta say, I miss having the increased range that the big Goron sword gives. Wait, can I kill this guy just with the hook shot? It's looking like it. I can't fight these guys without thinking about that Legend of Zelda Flash series. The real Legend of Zelda. Where that guy sings Boogie Wonderland. And then throws shit too, you know? Man, those days of the internet were much simpler. I won't complain. I got much nicer stuff. Be free! Uh huh. I appreciate the thought, but I just got the, the bigger bomb bag. Kinda don't need that shit anymore. But I still have one more key to explore a little further. How far can I get with five hearts? Well, that's part of the fun, is finding out. I believe we have two options available to us at the moment. This one seems to be as simple as rescuing a Goron, which is nice. We found how many things, and none of them have been gold, gold skull to lose up to this point, so I'm not, I'm not even going to be mad. Alright, 40 seconds to get across this room. Easy peasy when you are a speed god. That makes speed runs look like slow runs, like you don't even know. I'm so fast! I damage boost off keys. Even when I don't need to. Because that's just how fast I am. And I believe, unless this is a key to the fire temple, I'm done here. And I'm even actually, even then, I'm probably still done because the next area is like two rooms in a row that you gotta do. More bombs?! I mean, that's kind of thematic, but like, what are the fucking odds? Alright, fire temple partially completed. As completed as we can get, but we got big money now. So we need to farm some rupees, and we might be able to buy something useful. I don't know how much useful stuff there is. We'll figure it out. Now I'm worried if I'll be able to get out of here, though. 
33 seconds. Yeah, I, I feel like it's been no problem. So long as, like, I get out of here before, like, 20? Oh, no. Climb faster, Link. gonna spawn me. I, I might have to reset. Get sent back to the Temple of Time. Yeah, I have less time now, game. What do you think that's going to do for me? And I don't think I have anything that's going to help me here. I don't believe putting on the Kokiri tunic is going to give me any more time. No, it's not. So I really only have one option available to me. And guess what? I'm gonna take it. Well, we're off to a ravishing start. I mean, I should probably become a kid now and farm up to 500 rupees anyway. Because, I mean, that's a place to start. And who knows? With 500 rupees, the world is your oyster. You can buy pretty much whatever the hell you want. So long as it's being sold. Now, I actually don't know what uh, there is that's left that, we'd, we, that we would want to buy, but, you know, having the rupees can't hurt. I mean, we're only a few items away from being able to visit the Zora's shop. And who knows what wonders await us in that sh little store. I can't remember if there was any place selling them. I mean, farming up for the Goron tunic would be nice too, because then we don't have to worry about the little volcano incident that we just experienced. So, farming rupees seems like the way to go. Now, I am not certain. Do I have a bottle? If I do, I can technically start doing... I do. I can technically start doing big pose. That being said, big pose are awful. And I would rather not, but if there are no other options available to us, that's kind of what we have to do, isn't it? Ooh, close one there. And through the floor. I understand how thrilling this must be for everybody to watch me climb up the chains of a bridge and jump to grab invisible red rupees. I wonder on a scale of 1 to 10 how intentional was it to be able to grab these rupees. During the daytime. I feel like this was supposed to be a nighttime thing. Like, your reward for figuring out that you can stand on the bridge as it rises at night. Instead, I use it to... I just climb up the chain and jump across, and there you go. 60 rupees. Step back out, you can do it again. Just keep doing it till it goes out of style. But unfortunately, there's no better way in the game to make money outside possibly killing Skull Kids, but... They're kind of annoying to fight. Ooh, bad move. You know what? Not a big deal. I'll just step on out here. 
grab it as it rises, and then I'll head to Kokiri Forest in the morning. I believe we're still missing the slingshot, is that correct? I think that's what's stopping us from beating the Deku Tree. That would be correct. So we can't quite do the Deku Tree yet, but I'll just go and check out to see. Maybe we can go get, uh... Check out to see what the shop has, because I already forget. And then after that... Just be careful here, I don't fall on the inside. Because that would be awful. Ah! Alright, yeah, so... Head back to Kokiri Forest. See what they're selling. Uh... I think I didn't get the... Using what's it from uh, Sacred Forest Wolf Hole? Take that for however you want. Wait, there are. I. Did I do Sora's Domain as a child? If not, then. Maybe I'll do that first, because there's a couple of gold skulltulas there that are worth grabbing. See, that's the hardest part about these things, is that if you don't do it in one go, then you're kind of stuck, like, trying to think of what you did. Now, based on the fact that this wall is not blown open, no. And that this gold skulltula is not killed. I mean, I guess I needed the heal, but still, I would rather many other items than that. Also, that cost me a stick. I could have just used my boomerang like a civilized person. Alright, come here, chicken. We're going on a little road trip. So yeah, to get all the items here, you just need to grab a firm hold of your chicken. And then proceed to follow this path. If I don't mess it up, I should be able to grab two items with this chicken. So far, so good. Alright. Come here, Beaky. This is pretty much how Banjo Kazooie is going to play in Smash, right? Okay, so I think last. No, I didn't try this. I keep getting this confused with other runs that I did. Which includes one where I messed up there and then dropped the chicken into the water and lost it. Rather unfortunate that, but. Oh, that's right, we saw this as an adult, and it was absolutely underwhelming. Alright, so all we can do is wait for nighttime and kill this one here. And then we're pretty much done Zora's Domain for the moment. Because without Zelda's Lullaby, I don't know how to do the chicken trick that gets you inside there without it. Either that or we can find the silver scale, and then if we have that, we can swim in. I'm just going to double check to make sure I don't have that. Alright, good. That should be the first thing I do, is like, take stock of what I have. That way I know what I'm capable of. I must admit that I was blessed to get the boomerang this early on, because without it, things become a bit of a chore. Once again, C-Stick, not great. Now, you might just say, well, remap it to the D-pad. But there's a good reason I'm not doing that. And it's that in this randomizer, your D-pad takes up your boot slot and your ocarina. That way you don't need to put it in your items on the top right. Or go into your menu screen every time you need to change your boots. Which makes the water tempo significantly less annoying. A great change, in my opinion. Alright, we got something good. Ooh, speaking of boots! 
Yes, indeed. Iron boots. This will allow us to start the water temple. Thrilling! I'm so excited! Now, normally that would be sarcasm, but that means progress, and progress is good. So, next up, I'm, once, I'm just going to double-check Kukiri Forest before going to become an adult. And look at that. We can pick up as many rupees as we want, and it doesn't matter because we can hold so many of them! It feels good to be the giant's wallet. I must thank you, Fire Temple, for delivering me the well and upgrade of my dreams. I'm gonna have to put that in the thumbnail. Me holding an upgraded wallet. And just looking so pleased with myself. Tears rolling down my eyes. Like holding a newborn child. Mine, most likely. It would be a bit strange if you're happy to hold someone else's newborn child. And honestly, quite suspicious. Well, not necessarily. It'll be a friend's child, and you're happy for them. But if it's just a random child... Ooh, I believe we got it. Yes. Just in time, ladies and gentlemen! This is technically nighttime, although you can't tell because it looks exactly like day. Now, I probably already got this guy because this is going to be like the first one I try to go for. It seems like it, yes. I don't think there's any other gold sculptulas here as a child. I think I got them all, except for maybe the one that's inside the dirt there. Actually, since I have a bottle, maybe I should just... You know what? I'm just gonna buy the shields. Because ISG as an adult would be nice as well. Not as useful as a, as a child, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So I need to find some bugs, which means I need to drop my blue fire, which is unfortunate, because it's kind of difficult to get, and I would like to keep it for adult Zora King guy, because you'd have to carry it around later, but... Ooh, look at that leg! Beautiful stuff. Exactly what the N64 was meant to handle, but where are the bugs? Ooh, maybe under this rock. Incorrect. Perhaps there are no bugs for me to grab here, which would be very unfortunate, considering I just dropped my blue fire for it! Son of the bitch. You know what? Not too bad. We can go do all that later. I mean, while we're here, we might as well stock up on sticks. Because we are getting kind of low, I believe. In unless I can only hold ten, in which case I'm not doing too bad. But I'm I really hope I found a stick upgrade by this point. I'm just going to equip that so that I know where I'm at in terms of sticks. Mido, you wanna... Ah, thank you, my friend. And once again, we become unstoppable. And I took damage right about off the bat. Fan the tastic. Alright. But we have a good game plan. Go check out the forest meadow bomb location. I also think there is a gold skull tool I can get with the boomerang in the lost woods. So that gives us a few things to start off with, and after that, we can head into the water temple. I think we have everything we need for the water temple. Well, technically, you need the long shot for the second half, or the last little bit at least. But we we can get a lot done there. Uh, so long as we are not completely locked off by keys. Not a big fan of the music playing. Because it should still be nighttime, right? I guess we'll find out.
I don't hear it. Hmm. Well, we won't worry about that for now. It might be an adult thing. Ooh, a unexplored hole. Wait, wasn't that... Was I here and didn't have enough money for... I'm going to have to investigate. Yes, I, I had to go farm grass just so I could afford the items that those guys had. Excuse me, sirs, I would like to purchase your wares. Ooh. Decent purchase. Terrible purchase! A pox on you, Deku Scrub. May your family live in a blighted fortress in the middle of a swamp. Now, I think I came here very early on, before I would be able to open this. Aha! Indeed it is. Alright. Now for the ultimate test of skill. Can I ISG off of a bomb? Alright. I mean, first try is always a warm-up, right? All right. All right, that wasn't e Okay. Now, for real this time. No! Man, I'm 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 brain farting. Shit. All right. Damn it. I had it, but the bomb knocked me out of it. Alright. I got this. This is an important trick to learn, believe me. Ah, fuck it. Come get me, wolves! Yes, I said wolves. Woo! Oh, it doesn't even matter, I got the infant stick! You fool, you're no match for my tiny stick. My tiny stick is cap capable of defeating any werewolf and granting me the ocarina. <laughs> so many doors open up with this. Some literally. Now let me just take a look at my song list and then we can really see where we're cooking. But I can expect nothing but good things from this. So, kinda sparse. We have the Sun Song and the Song of Storms. Now, this does provide us with a few interesting tidbits. Um, mostly the fact that we can change it from day to night whenever we want, which gives us way better rupee farming. Wait. I can get bugs here. I must grab bugs. All right, with the power of bugs, I should be able to get a wide variety of items that I couldn't before. If only I can find them. Perhaps I need to go into a hole. I believe this hole over here... That's not a hole! Actually, now that I think about it, being inside here can cause my game to crash at any time, so I'm just going to save state before trying anything too crazy. Look at all that money we got. It's, it's a beautiful thing. I can't help just looking at it. Oh, yeah. Always oh, bugs in these bad boys. Uh, there's supposed to be bugs underneath there, but alright, I'll just leave and try again. 
Maybe that was a bug. Maybe, maybe that won't happen a second time. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Why didn't that give me a bug? Okay. So, I can't get a bug here. I guess it's not a huge deal. I can come back. No, this is not where I want to be. The Sun Song works somewhere else. But there's a couple of holes in the game that are opened up with the Sun Song, so that gives us access to those, which is nice. And I don't know why, but I always walk through the forest to come back from whence I came. And since I'm using the C-Stick, I need to be very careful when putting in songs. Oh yeah, so that's... Ah, it is a hole, but it's also a greater fairy. One that you cannot keep. See, no bugs in here either. It's like the game's conspiring to keep bugs from me. And more bombs! I have enough bombs, for Christ's sake. Fuck you, fish. Actually, that leads me to wonder if... I think there might be another hole in the woods here. A little bit of a stretch to assume it's going to give me anything, but couldn't hurt to look. Oh, and then I can also do the ocarina challenge with those two. All right. Yes, lots of things opening up now. So this is where that bad boy was, right? With the focus of a doctor surgeon. I go to the wrong spot and try to play the song. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, let's try this again. I think it's here. It might not be here, but I think it's here. It's not here. Alright, forget everything I said. Apparently, I don't know what I'm talking about. Which really shouldn't surprise anybody. That's your fault for believing me. Alright, come on, fellas. Let's jam. Give me a good one. Oh my god, they're challenging me on the song I just played! Okay, okay, so far so good. I know this one, I know this one. Alright, alright, easy enough, easy enough. Hopefully it follows this pattern. Uh-oh. Alright, alright. Hey! Hey, I appreciate it. Now, do they give one reward or two rewards? I can't remember, but the second one's eight notes. And I think it's only for 20 rupees. I think it's always 20 rupees. So I'm not gonna stress out about it. Okay. So with the ocarina, what else can we do? We don't have... That particular song, I need bugs. Bugs is one thing we need. I need other things too, I'm brain. Now. Where are some places I can use the Song of Storms? Ooh, bottom of the well, boys! Here we go! Now that is gonna be a good one. That is a- that's a good place! That's way better than the stinking water temple. Yes, bottom of the well is where we'll go. What we'll find there, nobody knows. A 
I mean, we'll find, we'll find Dead Hand. We'll find him. There are some things in this game that are like... I wonder how I would have turned out differently if they weren't in the game. Specifically, Re-Deads and Dead Hand. Like, I'm already not a very, like... Courageous person. So what would I but what would I have been if I had not been exposed to the occasional terrifying thing like that? All right, good stuff. Here's a song for you, buddy. Okay, that was, uh... <laughs> I don't think... I don't think this theme was ever meant to be heard sped up. Let's go, Link! Time for a very fun adventure that's not spooky- Oh my god, perfect music for this. Oh my god, that's so good! Now, the problem is, is I- That's not what I meant to do. I don't know which of these, like, bone piles are... Oh no, we need... We need, uh, Zelda's Lullaby for a good portion of this. But we can at least start it. Who knows? That might, that might give us some, some serious shit. Right, be careful here, I believe there's a drop-off. And we have the compass, which at least tells us where the, like, if there's chests here. Hello, Mr. Green Bubble. Enjoying your trip, are you? Alright. Got another chest here. Oh! I mean, really, that is a great place for the boss key of the Shadow Temple to be. Let's, let's be honest. I hear ya. Oh. Not so fast, big boy. Now, as much as I want to trust that... Okay. <laughs> ah! Good shit. The biggest bomb bag! Oh my god, bomb upgrades left and right. Doki. Now, I'm only going this way because there's a treasure chest and a gold skulltula, which is a two-in-one deal if I can get this right. Okay. All right. So let me just throw that out. Alright, so that seems to be good. Nice! Imagine if you came here without the Goron Bracer or bombs. I guess maybe that's considered in logic. But that sounds like it would be awful. Let's... That's so far away! You should not be able to paralyze me from there. I defy you, Bone Man. Look at that. You, sir, are not my friend. Real friends don't scream at friends. 
Alright, so there's an awful lot of bomb flowers down here, so I guess they do expect you to be able to get... No, because... Maybe that you run out of bombs? Yeah, just get it over with, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you have the million dollar scream. Whoosh. Kinda cool that it gave me the bomb bag, though, because it's like, oh, it's like... The bomb. Oh, I forgot. Let me jump attack. There we go. I wasted too many sticks on that. I'll tell you what. Hey, we can actually hold it. Give us all the money! Every dollar on Earth, we can hold it all! We're invincible! So it looks like we're going to need to be a bit more careful when it comes to that room that we fell from. But I feel like with enough perseverance, sweat, and effort, we can do it. I'm worried for a second, game. Oh, what do you have to say for yourself? Look for the Eye of Truth. Well, I don't have the Lens of Truth, so I can't do that. I'm gonna have to ask you to respect my decision to come here before the Lens of Truth. Okay. So you don't need to lower the water level to get over here. This makes this all the more... Terrible. Awful. I hate it. Alright, is there anything here I can ISG off of? I do not want to be spending sticks... ...on this shit. Oh, wait, I can do this! Wait, no. Wrong song. Very similar sounding song, but that song is not going to help me in this situation. Let me try this one. So I can at least do that. The, the jump it. Oh, that's right. Please don't burn my stick. Oh, look, it's nothing. Come on, let me put away my stick. Thank you. Hasta la vista. Come here. That's alright, I don't give a shit. I'll go down with the ship just to spite you. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Just Harry Houdini his ass. Uh, Harry Houdini his ass out of that sarcophagus. Ah, uh, more bats. Oh, you're gonna get it now, bats. Oh, shit! Fuck! <sighs> I realized too late. Oh, that breaks my heart. More bats. Let me put that away. Eat it. So I think this is supposed to be a key. Instead, I got the bombs I spent killing the damn bats. 
Is there anything else for me here? If... Wait, why'd my stick catch fire? Oh, my Allah. Ah! Bro, that's not cool! Listen, I wanted to fight you with some decorum, but if you're gonna be acting like that, Mr. Grabby McFeely hands, then I'm willing to play ball. Take that. Alright, nothing in there. Oh boy, the heart that I lost just now. So far, this room was nothing but me losing my shield. And that is tragic. If I lose it, if I run out of sticks, I'm blaming it on that keys. Because I could ISG. Now I can't. Listen, I'm just gonna drop this here for you, buddy. Enjoy it. Well, I eventually got him. Took me like 15 more bombs than I meant to, but you know. <laughs> Very nice to seize a chance. That's the mysterious pile you can blow up. Ah! Alright. You got me there, game. I'm gonna have to deal with this fuckhead. Mr. can st stun lock you no matter where you are. I I've been doing nothing but complain since I got here, and I was looking forward to this. You got you got to come at this from a more optimistic light, Q-Tip. Come on, this place is cool. Y you're just laying. I will say, I do remember playing on this area in VR chat, which was a bit strange to see Jotaro Kujo, as well as Hank Hill, running around the bottom of the well. See, that was totally worth it for another gold Skulltula token. Only two more and then I can get a gold Skulltula token. Now... You gotta be eating friggin' beans and wieners here. Oh, oh, a hundred percent worth it. A thousand gold skulltulas aren't worth a mighty stick. I take it all back, game. I see you're trying your best to make amends. <laughs> Eat shit, nerd. Alright, so. Not heading that way again. But we can go get that gold skulltula and... That Wakuzum, what's it? Treasure chest, that's it. That's the one. And then hopefully, it's something good, because, I mean, biggest bomb bag? That's pretty A-OK -okay in my book, brother. But you ain't winning no beauty contests with it. I'm also realizing how long it takes to get back up here. So I'm going to do a completely legitimate thing here. I'm just gonna go ahead and press my save the game button here on my totally legitimate N64. Wait, I can kind of see a seam in the ground. Uh huh. Mark!
Why? Hell Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Alright, I just got to be very careful that I pay attention to any potential seams. Alright, I think that's good. Alright, not as good as I would like, but you know what? I'll take it. should be safe to cross. And then I can see the crease in the floor there. I see you, motherfucker! No, I have my totally legitimate thing. Say easy. Bazinga. Now, normally I wouldn't bother with something like this, but... We only need one more and we can get our... free rental. Please evacuate yourself to the basement at the nearest convenience. I wonder, can I just... Can I just be a Bala and... Oh, yes I can! Oh, ha ho, ho, Mark! Oh, hi, Mark. I mean, what am I doing? He can't even eat anything. I don't have anything to eat. I'll tell you what you can eat. This dick. That's right, buddy. Yeah, all part of my plan. You fool, you exposed yourself and your gluttony. Allowing me to get the upper hand. Truly, in this battle of wits, you have lost. Alright, now let me swap out for this bad boy. But I can get the hell out of here. Oh! Oh yes, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Oh, and the 30th Gold Skulltula. We're doing alright for ourselves, folks. Now. Now. We can use the old eyeball of Thor. And we can find out how we were supposed to transverse this room. Very nice. And we can also cheat at the chest minigame in Castletown. So frankly, everything is going swimmingly. Oh, hello, Mr. S Handmaster. How does it feel to be, like, the worst enemy in the game? guys. Go ahead, grab the pot. Give me the pot! Give me the pot! Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, that'll work. Come on! She. This stream has been full of ups and downs. Alright, 
the well is like 60% done. We need two more keys and Zelda's lullaby to finish it up, so that's going to be a little bit down in the pocket that we have to deal with that. But we have our 30th Skultula, and we can cheat at the chest game. So, ultimately, things are going alright. So what do you have for me, buddy? I was joking when I said it was going to be one of those. Not so funny now. Alright, I mean... I can only slow my stride so much. <laughs> I feel you. Man. Honestly, I'm all over the place going, Cobb. You can't stop me from saying it. Alright. What was the other thing I could do? You cheat at the chest, yeah, cheat at the chest game. And there, ooh, yes, there is a thing in Hyrule Castle area. A hole in the dirt that I can go into. So I guess what we'll do is, I'll come up here, grab some money, wait for nighttime, do the chest thing, go back to Castle Town, or not Castle Town, but the castle itself, do the hole, it will probably be daytime. Hell, might even be nighttime again by the time I've done that. And after that... Water Temple. That's right. You know what? Instead of screwing myself over like last time, I'm going to go do the hole first. That way, if it is nighttime, my time is not wasted and then I can just switch straight to adult. Big Brain Plays. Ha! Man, this, this vine had already always given me trouble as a kid. It's so specific in how you need to approach it. Also, this part always screwed with me as a kid, too, but thankfully, due to the abilities of an adult's brain, I figured out a very consistent path to get past them. It's not even complicated. It's just I was an idiot as a kid. This isn't the spot, but I saw those butterflies and it made me curious. Typically, butterflies indicate that there's something there, but not always. And what about you? The other guy had something for me when I played this song, so what about you? Ooh, then I can also speak to him as an adult. Alright, it's the full-blown, uh... King Dodongo fight music. Maybe it wasn't Mal? I'm just more confused than ever now. And bugs! I also need bugs! See, there's so much stuff to remember. It's amazing anybody f finishes any of these. Looking good. We should have more than enough bombs with our biggest bomb bag. And I don't know why. I, I don't need the lens of truth right now. Also, is another thing I'm kind of feeling really sad that I picked up that Hylene shield, because now would have been a great time to go pick that up. Oh, we got bugs, ladies and gentlemen. The stuff I live for. Now, I'll leave the rest of you Skulltulas or Oha alone. I'm just here for this one. And his compass. Spirit Temple Compass. That's actually a very good one, because there are a lot of convoluted chests in the Spirit Temple. 
I don't know how long till we'll actually be there, but you know, it doesn't hurt to get it early. Can you take me home, please? Thank you. Okay. I'll do the chest game. No, I'm gonna swap out of that bug before I fucking drop it on the floor. As for actually using the bugs, we can use them as an adult, so I'm not gonna be... I'm not gonna stress out about that. One of your finest keys, please! I wonder if there was ever anybody who actually decided to go through this normally. And just try it again, and again, and again, and again, and again, until they got it. Because, I mean, it's, it's what? It's six rooms, I think? So that's two to the power of six. Sixty... Sixty-four, or a hundred and twenty-eight tries. This is two, two to the one, if there's... Two to the one's two. Four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Sixty-four, yeah, it is sixty-four. Or maybe there's five rooms. If there's five rooms, then it's much easier. Ugh. I think I aged looking at that. Also, I gotta say, dude, I don't much appreciate you playing this, like, ISIS battle music when I'm just trying to play your damn game. Alright. So, pretty much done as a child once again. We need Zelda's lullaby. Or the slingshot to really do anything else. So, well, I guess there's also the spirit temple. So if we get the spirit temple song too, we can do something. So that's three things we need to do things as kids again. So we're pretty much going to be full-time adults for the next little while. So I'll start off. I'll go... Put that bug in Gerudo Valley, then put it in Lake Hylia. And then I think I have, I think I have Quick Scarecrow song on, so like I don't need to go actually get it. But maybe I do, in which case I should have done that as a kid. But we won't we won't worry about that. We we don't need to worry about that. Also sucks that we don't have any warping songs yet. That will be nice to get. Hopefully we get one soon. All too many times you start a playthrough and... The first... Like, you get like three songs before you ever get your ocarina. But this time it's just like... You get the ocarina and you have no songs. Mind you, the songs you do have are great songs, don't get me wrong. Like, you wouldn't, like don't get caught dead without the nighttime song. But, feels like it'd be capable of so much more. And actually, since we have... Oh, that's right, we checked! It's five rupees! Ha 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 ha! Ah, you won't get me this time, bloopy. I'm onto your schemes. So who begins the long walk to Karoo Valley to plant a bug? The first time I ever did one of these, uh, the gold skulltulas that you get from the bugs, they never gave anything required. It was always rupees or, like, gold skulltulas. So I always figured that they didn't drop anything essential. Lo and behold, my ignorant ass...
when I tried to do another run, I didn't bother going for them, and then I couldn't find all the important shit. How does a light arrow not kill a Poe in one hit? What is the point of a light arrow if it doesn't kill people? You know, like the most powerful artifact on the planet for vanquishing evil? Nah, I can't do shit. Also, I think I need fire arrows for this hole over here, but I might as well check since I'm here. It's a bloopy. All right. In another instance where my conscience is saved, thanks to the fact that the gold skull to lie cannot reach is a very much useless item. Honestly, the more bloopies and hard to reach locations, the better. I believe I commented on the, uh, fittingness of this music last time I was here, so I won't bother to repeat myself. Instead, all I want to do is plant a bug. And look at that beautiful landing. Except for it's not here anymore. Which leads me to believe that they are not there when you're an adult. Unfortunate, to say the least. Oh well. I mean, we're not suffering from a lack to do. So, I won't complain. Now, just in case... Yeah, I do have that option on. Alright, he doesn't respond to that, which has me a bit worried. But... Oh, thank god I do have it on. Alright. Very nice. Very, very nice. This simplifies things greatly. It's not like getting the Scarecrow song is difficult, it's just... I don't want to put up with that. Having to walk all the way to like Hylia twice. Just to be able to do this is exhausting. Okay. Alright. You win this one, Keese. It's not a Keese. I'm sorry I called you a Keese. See? I needs a little bit of forgiveness, and the world will be a better place. God fucking damn it. Ooh, there goes my knees. Well, at least we can go fishing. That'll be a fantastic time. So long, sucker! Oh, doesn't that just fucking set the mood, doesn't it? Alright. So, the best fish... ...are over here, I believe. Not good. 
We're gonna need to go into Operation Overdrive if we're gonna catch him. Yeah! Fooled you, kid. You're no match for me. I got the brain of a million geniuses. And now you're mine. Also, this is much better fishing music. Thank you, game. You just fall asleep to the sultry tunes of the, pa of the start screen. I'm gonna get a freaking honking fish here. Sorry, I'm gonna have to ask you something. Fuck you. Uh, let me try that again. Uh, one more time. Uh, one more time. Uh, one more time. One more time. Uh, one more time. One more time. Uh, why is this not working? Hey, there we go. <laughs> Got your hat, bitch. That's what you get. Hey, you're gonna have it back. What are you doing? I told you not to do that! You're terrible! Seriously! Give me back my hat! Okay. You're a kind-hearted kid, but don't tell anybody about this! Seriously! Ugh. Yeah, let me the hell out of here. Give me a goddamn... Gold Skultula! Gold Skultula! That's what he gives me! For an award-winning fish! Might as well give me a goddamn shot to the head. That's what it feels like, man. Absolute betrayal. Ooh, and I can equip that bad boy. Alright, very nice. Man, we're looking a lot more like the hero of time, aren't we? <laughs> ah, good stuff. Now that is a hell of a twist on the theme. Starting with three keys, that's pretty good. I feel like we can get a lot done with three keys. Uh, the entrance to the boss seems to be open already. Oh, this place. Beautiful. Okay. Come on! I still need to pay you guys back for killing my goddamn shield! The hate will never fade. Alright, what do you got? I know I probably need the long shot for you, but I wanna know. Gold Skull to uh, The absolute bare minimum to keep me interested. Yeah, I didn't expect so. I'll get up there someday. No! Damn this blasted controller. Save me! Alright, nice. Alright, door number two unlocked. Quickly making our way over to Darklink. That's right. Now that that should be a good bit of fun. Unless I do that. Like a absolute brainlet. Oh 
I'm gonna have to ask you to not. Thank you. It's all coming back to me now, lads. Easy. Beam me up, Scotty! Having the hammer equipped is probably not the best thing either. But you know what? Might as well. Who's it hurting? Other than these damn fools. Not sure how I feel about this like-like uh, beam right here. Really don't want to lose my tunic. All right, nice. He's just gonna stand there and take it. Good to know. All right. Now this place is aesthetic. This should be pretty easy with, uh, with the infinite sword glitch. Sublink! What are you afraid of, boy? Bruh! <laughs> Did you just undo my ISG? I'm gonna really have to ask you not to. Come on! What if I didn't have a shield? So supposedly you're supposed to be learning how I fight, right? That's how this all works? Him get more solid. It should be any second now. He'll fall for my hammer trick. No idiot will use the hammer that much. But hell, you want to ISG my sword? Ooh, I got just the thing. For the likes of you, I believe you would be a big fan of this. See, I went through him. I gotta hit him with the old. There we go. Time to get the damage in, boys. See? He doesn't stand a chance. I can tank the damage way better than he can. I got the health upgrade. I actually have to use my shield. He just, all he does is backflip! What kind of hero of courage are you? 
I said I could better tank the damage than him, but I'm beginning to have a doubt. Just back up! Like, come on, that's supposed to do, like, pretty damn good damage. Easy. <laughs> Easy! Now, for my just reward for that performance. Hey, you know what? That's the hardest boss in the game for me. And I can't fucking undo this block. Son of a bitch! A heart container's fitting. Oh, hello there. And I don't believe we've met. Allow me to not do that. As a wise man once said, Nah, bitch, I ain't fucking with you. Because I do not want to lose my tunic. Alright, now to see if I can pull this off without falling to my death like an idiot. Now, there is still plenty we can do here. Don't you worry, folks. Alright, I'm half surprised that I managed that, but if I pull out my hammer and fall to my death, that would be much more... That'd be much more like me. Just check in here. Now, do I put on the iron boots yet, or do I take a look on the other side? Well, it might as well, couldn't hurt. Why, Tektite, do you want to come with me? Well, you're more than welcome to. Alright, it's one of these types of things, eh? First and foremost, I'm gonna go check out over here. Ooh, I see. A puzzle requiring the long shot to get across. Why, quite the conundrumer you have, game! Unfortunately for you, I have big brain syndrome. It is painful. Man, this Goron City music is gonna make me lose my damn mind. I swear to god. Alright, so that's that particular puzzle over there. Well, let's take a gander at what's on this end. Slightly rough rose ceiling here. Now, is there any particular reason why you're not allowed to use a sword underwater? I feel like it would still be a decently effective cutting weapon. Mind you, you'd be attacking much slower, but... I don't know, a motor-propelled chain, I feel like, would work. Not great. And I think they all respawn because I took too many steps back. And I take it back saying that Dark Link was the toughest fight. And I believe these guys may give you... No, nope, they decided to all stand still towards the end there. That really helped me out. So I'd like to thank them for that. Really doing me a solid. Okay, now. This might be the hardest puzzle in the entire game! Oh, whatever do I do? I 
pressed the wrong button at first. Jabu Jabu Compass. Not as useful as Spirit Temple, but you know what? I will take it. Uh, there may be a chest or two that I don't know the location of in Jabba Jabba, so thank you, game. I will take that as something helpful rather than scorn you for giving me yet another Gold Skulltula token. Not that uh, that has stopped you in the past. Right, there's no opening doors while underwater, so that's a dead end to that little adventure. So let us go this way and meet with our fish wife. Uh, never mind, this is not the way there. Although I believe that will be useful to us later. Well, I mean, of course it will. It's not like there's any useless paths in this dungeon. This is where my fish wife is supposed to be. But yet she is not. Oh. You need many uses of Zelda's lullaby in this dungeon, I just remembered. So that may be a slight predicament for us in the coming future. Easy enough. Now, if this is not Zelda's lullaby, then, well, we're back to stage one. We have a key, but I don't think we have a place to use it. And another gold skull tool. Now, I believe there's something... Alright. I must be imagining things. I thought there would be something there. Alright. So. There's only one other path that I can think of, and I don't think we're going to be able to do much with it. Which is unfortunate. So there are many rooms here that we can't get because we cannot affect the water level. But can we go this way? It's looking like a maybe. So this is our last segment of the water temple that we're capable of doing at the moment. Which may require the long shot based off the look of this room. Ooh, or perhaps not. Or perhaps, yes, definitely. Because that is much too far of a distance to travel. Well, this is going to require some brain thinking. I mean, I could do the Gold Skulls as a kid. So I think that's what we're going to start with next time. Uh, alas, I have not eaten in uh, coming up on 12 hours now. So I am going to need to go get something to eat. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will try to have this up on YouTube fairly shortly. Thank you.